We also had an interesting Patrick Kane trade idea to the Edmonton Oilers. I think of the Oilers, what they could need, and I think of defense and helping their own end, but going the other way and just saying, hey, maybe we'll outscore our problems with Patrick Kane. Why might this make sense? Yeah, that's exactly it. You just load up and you say, hey, there's room for two Canes in Edmonton, and you put him on a line with either Leon Dreisaitl or Connor McDavid, and you watch this team take off. And I think the return is Xavier Burgo, who is a first-round draft pick. Mm -hmm. So you've got a first and a second, plus you have the Chicago Blackhawks take on um, – Yes, a pull Yarby here, and then you take a fifth round pick. And since that contract is one that would be needed to roll through a third party broker with the ten and a half million dollar cap hit, you essentially end up getting Patrick Kane on your books for two point seven five million dollars. Pull Yarby's three million dollars going the other way takes care of that. And in this case, the biggest hurdle is not going to be the idea of putting Kane into your lineup. It's does he want to go there? And I would yeah. have to think that when he begins to sort through his options now that the Rangers are out, the idea of playing potentially with McDavid and or Dreisaitl would certainly rise to very near the top of that list. Could be fascinating in the days leading up to the deadline. We are 16 days away.